Hi everybody! In this video we're going to have a look at emphatic stress. Now first of all, remember English uses stress meaningfully. That means often we do not have to change the word order. We can simply use stress to express our intended meaning. That's very handy. But of course, it depends on our context. Let's see how we can use emphatic stress when we speak. Emphatic stress really means that it shows how special and extraordinary something is. For example, in the sentence, I was extremely tired. Usually, tired would receive the main stress of the sentence. I was extremely tired. This is the standard stress. I was extremely tired. If we place the stress on the word extremely, we want to emphasize how very, very tired I was, how special this was. And that is what we call emphatic stress. I was extremely tired. Here is another example. London is so big. Emphatic stress on the word so. Or, because it was too expensive. Here we have emphatic stress on the word too. Or, another example, she's really nice. We want to emphasize how nice she is. She's really nice. So there is emphatic stress on the word really. We often place emphatic stress on intensifiers. You've probably noticed that in my examples. Here are some more examples. It was extremely cold. I am terribly sorry. I'll be completely honest. She felt utterly embarrassed. We're really grateful. And that was especially difficult. All the words in orange have emphatic stress. At least they can. The way I pronounced them, they had emphatic stress. Of course, you could also choose not to place stress on these words and instead stress the word, usually the word here that comes afterwards most of the time, it is an adjective in my examples. Now, here are some more examples. These words also very often receive emphatic stress. Very, really, so, to. You've seen already some examples. Here are a few more. It's very cheap. I really like him. Japanese is too difficult to learn. She's so happy. Now, let's talk quickly about the little word so. We had this sentence, she's so happy. Now, you must stress so if you have the sentence just as it is on its own. And you have to stress it more than happy. She's so happy. Why? Because if you stress happy more, your sentence sounds unfinished. Listen, she's so happy. It sounds like there should be something else coming. Why? Because so is usually used together with the word that to show a result. Let's have a look here. So, <laughs> that. There's a result connected. For example, she's so happy that she can't stop smiling. Of course, in this sentence, we could also leave out that and simply say, she's so happy she can't stop smiling. 
but the result of the so happy is still there. Here are some more examples. The story is rather silly. This is another example of emphatic stress on the word rather. The story is rather silly. You never listen to me. She's always late. I don't believe that at all. What on earth made you do that? Why would you ever consider that? All the words in orange again have received emphatic stress. Some of the examples have a negative meaning and I included those to show you that emphatic stress does not mean that you always show how special and wonderful something is, but it could of course also have a negative meaning. And also, it's not always adverbs that have to receive emphatic stress, although very often they do. We can also have expressions like at all, what on earth, or why would you ever, although ever is also an adverb. Now, to sum up, you can make your sentences stronger by simply emphasizing these types of words. But be careful. If you stress positive words, there is a more positive message. However, if you stress these negative words, the message is even more negative. So you have to be a bit careful. Really consider what message you want to send. Here is an example for the negative stress. For example, the first sentence is, he's a terrible liar. Standard pronunciation and stress and that means well it's bad news he's a terrible liar it's not nice to call someone a liar but in the second sentence we stress terrible he's a terrible liar that's really bad news he's not just a liar he's a terrible liar and I stress that and emphasize it so here emphatic stress really makes my my message and my sentence stronger in a negative way. So just be a little bit careful with that.